welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity cosine of x square dx we know this is uh, personal integral and uh, in a previous video uh, we solved this integral same integral by using Laplace transform but in this video I am going to evaluate uh, this integral by using uh, Euler's formula so uh, first of all I am going to define an integral uh, i n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity cosine of x to the n t x okay now to evaluate this integral I am going to take a substitution so we can take u is equal to x to the n now differentiate so du is equal to power rule n times x to the n minus 1 and also du is equal to n times now x is equal to u to the 1 over n so u to the 1 over n times n so 1 minus 1 over n uh, here sorry here also dx and here dx then uh, we know du uh, sorry dx we can isolate the dx so dx is equal to uh, we can write 1 over n u to the 1 over n minus 1 du okay then uh, also we know Euler's formula e to the uh, ix is equal to cosine of x plus i times sine of x and here we have cosine function so we know uh, real part of real part of e to the i x is equal to cosine of x so here we can write uh, our integral i n is equal to um, integral from 0 to infinity limit also 0 to infinity now cosine uh, of x to the n we know so cosine of u now dx we know 1 over n we can write outside of the integral sign uh, here u to the 1 over n minus 1 d u ok then uh, instead of this cosine of u we can use real part of e to the i u so we can write here 1 over n real part of integral from 0 to infinity here u to the 1 over n minus 1 times uh, e to the i times u t u ok then uh, we know the definition of gamma function gamma of x is equal to integral from 0 to infinity t to the x minus 1 times e to the minus t d t uh, now uh, to use gamma function definition here uh, minus sign but here we have plus so I am going to change it 1 over n real part of integral from 0 to infinity u to the 1 over n minus 1 times now I am going to multiply by i this power so here i square so minus 1 uh, also we should divide it by i so minus 1 over i times u d u ok then we know uh, this integral is equal to here real part of this integral is equal to gamma of 1 over n but here we have coefficient so 1 over i 1 over i raised to the minus 1 over n then uh, here we can write gamma of 1 over n outside so gamma of 1 over n over n here real part of now 1 over i raised to the minus 1 over n we can write i to the 1 over n then next step gamma of 1 over n over n gamma of 1 over n over n times real part of uh, i raised to the 1 over n now we know i is equal to i is equal to e to the i phi over 2 so we can write here 
uh, e to the i pi over 2 times n okay then gamma of 1 over n over n times real part of e to the i phi over 2n we know real part uh, cosine so here we have cosine of pi over 2n okay this is uh, i n so we know i n is equal to gamma of 1 over n over n times cosine of pi over 2 times n now uh, to take our integral uh, when n is equal to so i2 is equal to gamma of 1 over 2 over 2 cosine of pi over 2 we know 1 over square root of 2 then gamma of 1 half we know square root of pi so square root of pi over 2 times square root of 2 okay this is the answer